Okay, in this video we're going to look at this following second order differential equation. So it's non-homogeneous, so we have y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals 4e to the x plus x cubed minus 6x squared plus 6x. So for all um, differential equations of this form, it's important to first find the homogeneous solution. So let's do that. <coughs> So the associated homogeneous differential equation is given by y double prime minus 2y prime plus y equals 0. Good. And in order to calculate the solution to this, it's important to look at some sort of corresponding polynomial, which is u squared minus 2u plus 1, and we want to find the roots of that polynomial which we can see that this thing factors like u minus 1 squared equals 0. So in other words, we have repeated roots to this polynomial. So 1 is a second order root, which tells us the solution to this homogeneous differential equation is given by c1 e to the x plus c2 x e to the x. So we'll hold on to this solution to the corresponding homogeneous differential equation um, until the end. And now we want to look at what a particular solution might look like. So we're going to use the method of undetermined coefficients. And so our particular solution is going to have an exponential part from this 4e to the x, and it's going to have a polynomial part, which is most likely cubic from this um, cubic polynomial. Great. So the first thing to notice is that a good first choice for the exponential part would be a multiple of e to the x, so a constant multiple of e to the x, but that's part of the homogeneous solution. So taking uh, inspiration from Euler's trick, we would guess that x times e to the x would be a good second guess, but that's also part of the homogeneous solution. So we continue and guess that x squared times e to the x is a good guess for the particular part corresponding to the exponential portion of the forcing function. Good, so we'll take a x squared e to the x, and now there are no tricks with the polynomial, we'll just take an arbitrary cubic polynomial. So in that case, we'll take b x cubed plus c x squared plus d x plus, plus e. Great. And now that we have this particular solution guess, we want to determine these undetermined coefficients by taking its first derivative, taking its second derivative, plugging it into the differential equation, and see if we can solve for a, b, c, d, and e. So let's go ahead and take some derivatives. So we have y, p, prime equals, so we have to use the product rule on this, so we'll get a, x squared e to the x from taking the derivative of e to the x plus 2ax e to the x from taking the derivative of x squared. Good. And then the rest of it is just this derivative of the polynomial. So we'll have 3bx squared plus 2cx plus d. Okay, great. Now the next thing that we need is the second derivative. So we'll take yp double prime. So again, each of these portions with the exponential is going to split in two because of the product rule. So we'll get another copy of ax squared e to the x. Good. And then we'll get another copy of 2ax squared x e to the x from the derivative of x squared. And we'll get 2ax e to the x from the derivative of x in this term. So those will combine together to give us 4ax e to the x. Good. And then we have um, a portion from here from taking the derivative of x. So that will be 2a e to the x. So there's our exponential part, the derivative of our exponential part, and now we have this derivative of the quadratic polynomial. So this will be plus 6bx plus 2c, and then the derivative of d is 0 because it's a constant. Okay, so now we want to push these three functions, the 
zeroth derivative, the first derivative, and the second derivative into the differential equation. So we'll add the second derivative and the first derivative and subtract, sorry, the second derivative and the zeroth derivative and we'll subtract twice the first derivative. So just to kind of point that out, we'll do plus this, plus this, minus two times this, just to make sure that we're doing uh, what the left-hand side of the, diff the derivative tells us. So, <clears throat> Let's see what that gives us. And um, what we can do is like do that at the same time and then look at uh, the coefficients um, on the right-hand side as well. So now let's look at this x squared e to the x term. So x squared e to the x term. So we have one of them here, one of them here, negative two of them there, so that cancels which is good because it doesn't show up on the right-hand side of the differential equation. Great. So now let's look at this x e to the x term. So here we have four of them here. We have zero of them here. We have two of them here, but then we're subtracting twice that, so we have four minus four of them, so we have zero of them. Great. So x squared e to the x, there are zero terms on the left-hand side. X e to the x, there are zero terms on the left-hand side, which is good because there are also zero terms on the right-hand side. Now let's look at the rest. So let's look at just our e to the x terms. So on the left-hand side of the equation, we have 2a two, two of them here, and then we don't have any of them in, the, in um, this equation, we don't have any of them in this equation. So that means we have 2a equals, and now we have four of them on the right-hand side of the um, original differential equation. Okay, great. So that tells us that a must be two. So, you know, this is the method of undetermined coefficients. Well, we've determined one of our coefficients. Great, and now we'll keep going. So let's look at the coefficients of x cubed. So the coefficients of x cubed, so um, there are none of them in this second derivative. There are none of them in this first derivative. There are b of them in this zeroth derivative. So we have b equals um, 1. Okay, good. So we've already determined that coefficient as well. Now let's look at the coefficient of x squared. So there are none of them in this second derivative. There are 3b of them in this first derivative, but we're subtracting 2, so that means there are negative 6b of them. Okay, good. And then there are c of them in this zeroth derivative, so plus c equals, and then on the right-hand side there are negative 6. Okay, good. Now, using the fact that b is 1, we get negative 6 plus c equals negative 6, so that tells us that c must be 0. So again, we've determined two of the coefficients associated with the polynomial. Now let's keep going. So x, so on the right-hand side, so in this term, there are 6b of them. So 6b. In this term, there are 2c of them, but there's negative 2, so there's minus 4c of them. Good. And then in this original term, there are uh, dx terms, so plus d equals 6. Great. Now, using the fact that c is 0, we can get rid of this, good, and then using the fact that b is 1, we can cancel this from both sides, equals 0, so that tells us that d is also 0. Okay, great. So now let's look at the constant terms on both sides of the equation. So corresponding to the left-hand side, we have 2c as a constant term here. Good. Here, d is a constant term. 
So plus D plus E is a constant term. Oh, and I made a mistake because this should be minus 2D because we're taking uh, negative 2 times the first derivative. Good, and then there are no constant terms on the right-hand side of the original differential equation, so we have this equals zero. Great, and now we know C equals zero from this step with x squared. We know D equals zero from this step with x, and so that tells us that E equals zero. So that means we can replace this A with a two, um, this B with a 1, and then all of this equals 0, giving us our particular solution of 2x squared e to the x plus x cubed. So I'll clean up the board and then we'll put together our final general solution. Okay, so uh, previously we found out that the homogeneous solution was given by c1 e to the x plus c2 uh, x e to the x, where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. We just did the method of undetermined coefficients to figure out that the particular solution is given by 2x squared e to the x plus x cubed. So that tells us that the final general solution has the following form. So we have y equals 2x squared e to the x plus x cubed plus c1 e to the x plus c2 x e to the x where c1 and c2 are arbitrary constants. Good. So there's our final answer.